Okay, for today, I want to compare the big four heavy-duty diesel off-road trucks. Um, I want to compare all four at a similar price range. So there's the 2024 Super Duty, 2024 GMC Sierra AT4X, the 2024 Silverado ZR2 HD, uh, which is $95,000. And then, um, let's see, I'll go back to the, to the Ram. But and in this video, I tried to compare a similar capability truck, similar color truck, similar options. And you can kind of look at the pricing and what you're getting to kind of say, is, does this make sense you know, for, for what you're looking for and the features you're after? But all of them are within about five grand of each other. The only one that's really outstanding is the Platinum. The Ram website's been acting up. I've been struggling with this the past 24 hours to try to get this video ready. It's freezing up for some reason. I'm not sure what's up, but I can't really get the, the pictures to load. But regardless, I focused on a Ram 2500 Rebel, which is sort of similar to the trimmer and the AT4X and ZR2. So with the uh, Platinum, I focused on an F250 on this, not an F350. But with the Platinum, this gets you the high output diesel, which is the 500 horse, 1,200 foot-pounds of torque, 18 inch wheels, 35 inch tires. You get the um, upgraded headlights with the projector, and I think it might have the dynamic mending in the headlights. You get a little bit of a lift kit. You're gonna also get the um, uh, selectable electronic locker in the rear, and then you get the uh, torsion front differential, which acts like a locker in an off-road environment with the Super Duty. I'm going to be biased here, but when you look at this at the end of the day, when you compare apples to apples, I still think the Ford is the best value option when you consider all of what you're getting with the truck. Um, you know, being a Platinum, this is not just your mid-grade truck. This is a premium interior, massaging seat, seats and everything. And right here, you know, you're getting the applique in the rear. You're getting the power steps on the side. Um, and then there's a lot of other features you get with the Platinum that you're not going to get with the others, like, like the 2,000-watt generator. The others don't have that feature built into it. This thing's also got the, I think the 400 amp alternator. I believe the others are like 190 or 220 range. So um, the other advantage to the, pla the, the Platinum, or I should say the Ford, is that you can get a trimmer in an F-350 where you can't get an AT4 XGMC or a ZR2 Silverado HD in a 3500. They're limiting this to a three quarter ton. So for people that are heavy hauling fifth wheels, toy haulers, you almost rule out the ZR2 and AT4X, but regardless, for this video, this is about apples to apples. Now for the AT4X, um, I wanted to compare similar color. This is the Thunderstorm Gray, which I think looks phenomenal, it's, and I've seen these in person. Just an awesome, awesome color. The interior in the GMC, honestly, is still my favorite. I just think it's phenomenal. GM did a really great job on it. The fit and finish, the layout, the ergonomics, and I, I just, they hit a home run. Um, they, they really, I feel like they really focused on the Corvette and the capabilities of that interior and transferred some of the ideology of that into the new GMC. But I selected the AEV edition also. That gets you the, the better skid plates, the better bumpers, the, um, um, some of the other little goodies with the rims and the AEV badged uh, floor mats. But this is a very premium trim option that offers some serious off-road capability. And it, as you can see, it's a $9,395 option. With that, you're getting the Duramax with the 10-speed trans, the 13-inch display in the middle. Um, and now the Duramax is, I believe, 475 horsepower. And I think it's right at 975 or 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. So there's a big difference in power from this versus the high-output diesel. I selected the rear underseat storage because the Super Duty comes with that. And once again, I'm trying to compare apples to apples. So I wanted to make sure they were similar. But as you can see, this is only the 220 amp alternator. Now, this is the side profile. I, exterior wise, I love this truck. I think it looks good. I've seen it in person. It's very mean. Um, it's just, it's a beautiful truck. A GM, GM hit a home run for 2024 in the HD segment. And where they really, really crushed it is the interior the the dash layout and and just kind of the angles the screen the hvac controls the armrest 
the steering wheel, your instrument panel um, technology package is really good. Um, the seats are comfortable. Um, there's still a few little quirks on their dash layout versus the Ford that I think is, is you got to get used to, but I think once you're used to, you love it. So now we'll move to the Silverado 2024 Silverado 2500 HD ZR2, and this is also the AEV. This is the Bison package selected. I clicked uh, and selected just like the last truck, fifth wheel prep, the technology package, which gets you the heads up display like the other trucks. Um, and a nicer instrument panel. And the ZR2 Bison Edition is their version of the AT4X um, AEV Edition. This gets you the same 13-inch display, 10-speed uh, transmission with the Duramax. You get all the AEV goodies for skid plates, um, bumpers, special wheels, floor mats, all that fun stuff. And it comes in just shy of $96,000, 95935 Exterior-wise, I think it looks good. I think it's definitely an improvement over years past. Um, and this is their slate gray, which is very similar to thunderstorm gray from um, GM. And it's going to be interesting to see how this compares to the glacier gray by Ford. I'm loving these gray colors, man. This is speaking to my heart. I, this is my style of colors and trucks. And I feel like they really hit a home run in all these for 2024. Interior wise, I'll kind of show you some of the comparisons of the Silverado interior versus the Sierra. But, you know, it's, it's got a nice layout. Um, you, can, you can definitely tell if you look at there, the GMC interior and layout. It just gives you a much more Yukon Denali-esque feel versus the Silverado. You know, you, you've just got just a little less hard angles and a little more comfortable. The Silverado looks a little work trucky. Whereas the GMC looks a little bit more refined. Interior-wise, they're pretty similar in that regard. Heated, cooled seats. This is where I think the Platinum shines. The Platinum gets you massaging seats. I haven't confirmed, but I don't think the AT4X or the um, ZR2 have massaging seats. But interior looks perspective. I think the GMC is by far the best-looking interior. I think it looks better than Ford's interior. But the comfort of Ford's interior is better. you got more legroom flat storage in the rear, better storage under the rear seat, and uh, the massaging seats. Now lastly, we're going to look at the Ram um, Rebel. This is their, I'm going to call it their most off-road version with the Cummins diesel. The downside to the Cummins in a 2500, you can't get the high output Cummins. You got to get a 3500 and they don't make that in a Rebel. So anyhow, um, you get the lower horsepower, it's like 375 horse and I think like 880 torque, and you get the six-speed transmission. This has been a popular engine for a long time. I've always wanted a Cummins. I think these motors are awesome, but I've driven them, and man, they just, they do not have the power of the Duramax or the Power Stroke. I added all of the same technology. This has got the level two package with the tow technology package. I tried to line up all the same features with the Ford and the GM, as the Ram, uh, sim even similar colors. One of the downsides to the Ram right now in a 2500 versus the other two is the GVW. If you look at the payload of a Ram 2500 versus Ford, GM, and Silverado, is you're going to literally take about an 800 pound payload penalty because GM only has a 10,000 pound GVW where the others have a 10,800. The downside to that is obviously if you're in a fifth wheel towing or heavy hauling, you're either going to go over the limit of your truck or you're going to be limited by the trailer you can pull with your truck. So that's one area where I'd love to see Ram step up and, and increase in that area. And maybe that will happen with their new fifth gen truck where it um, that gets the new interior and, and whatnot. Yeah, because the new Ram, I think, is the is going to have the bigger cab like the 1500 Ram because right now their HD truck is really still based off of the 2012 cab configuration which gives you like four inches less legroom there's your rebel finally able to get the site to work you get the 20 inch wheels it's it's a sharp you know truck but when you look at the others and the price and the capability i think that truck is extremely expensive for what you can get for some of these others i hope this video is helpful hope you enjoy there's some awesome heavy duty off-road segment trucks for 2024 and as you can tell they're not cheap